Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and this is my discussion video on the new Yu-Gi-Oh card that just got revealed for Age of Overlords, that being this new equip spell. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this card actually has huge potential in the upcoming net, uh, metagame, just because of Infernoble. Infernoble, once it gets its new support in Age of Overlord, or I think it's Duelist Nexus, actually has the potential for like straight up taking over the meta i don't think it'll be the best deck but i definitely think it'll be one of the strongest decks to come out next set and uh, this equip spell that comes out the set after it kind of really really benefits them it's an amazing spell and uh let's actually just go over this so uh let's just do this all right so the new equip spell is called Blessed by the Angel Ring. It's also just known as Angel Ring in the TCG. It is a equip spell. You only equip to a monster with another equip card. So it must already have an equip card onto it. You can only control one Angel Ring. Negate the effects of your opponent's first spell card or effect that resolves each turn. And then once per turn, gain 500 life points, then destroy this card. And if you do... Your opponent can target that monster with a uh, with the equip to with card effects. Uh, this is actually a really really amazing effect. So the reason why I think this card is amazing is just because it negates the effect of your opponent's first spell or effect that resolves each turn. That's an amazing 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 effect. Basically, it's just like hey, Infernoble. You can make a crazy board now, and it can't just shotgun Dark Ruler because this card will negate it. And if they don't read this card, they'll just instantly lose to it. Now, don't get me wrong against some matchups that don't even play spells like Super Heavy. This card isn't really doing anything. But for a deck that can easily equip equip spells from deck, and I can literally like equip them literally like three of them from deck at a turn, with not only the new uh, arm... Uh, What's it called? The Armed Dragon Synchro that we got all the way back in Power of the Elements. But now, with the new Infernoble support, it is so easy just to dump this card off of Soul, add it back to hand, equip it to your uh, monster, and be like, cool, not only do I have an amazing field on board with multiple negates already, but now we have a guaranteed first negate against cards like Evenly Match. Well, not Evenly Match because it says only spell effects. My apologies, not Evenly Match. Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, things like that. We just have an instant turn off button for it. Now, don't get me wrong, they can still play around it because it just says the first spell. You don't get to choose what spell, which kind of sucks. But uh, for cards like Lightning Storm and Dark Ruler, you kind of want to just shotgun those cards because one for, for one thing, Lightning Storm requires you to have no cards on field, no face up cards on field. So you can't just start playing into the game. Unless you're expecting to uh, not activate that card. And as for Dark Ruler, you kind of don't want to start playing your game. Because they have an crazy board on field. So you want to negate everything first and then start playing. So you don't waste any resources. This card is basically saying, hey look, if they have Dark Ruler in hand. They have to waste the card in their hand first. Then activate Dark Ruler. And then with the last three cards, make a combo. And that's not always the case because this deck, because like I said, Infernoble is not only a, a crazy board deck, but this deck is full of hand traps too. So I can imagine like you dark, uh, you waste a card, use a dark ruler, try to play the game, and then it just hand trap you out of it. I can definitely see that happening to you. This card has the potential for greatness, and we'll just have to see. It also just wins in time. It has literally a gain 500, uh, 500 life points effect. So literally, time around, you can just be like, cool, equip, effect, once return, just gain 500, send in the graveyard, now I can't be targeted by a card effects, oops, time around, I win. So not only is it a spell negate, but it's also a time around card. It also makes your opponent target target it. So you can do a combo where you just equip this card to your monster and just be like, okay, I'm going to send it away. You can't target my monster now, and I'm just going to start pushing with it. And uh, that's a pretty, pretty insane effect. I really do think this card, as a one of for Infernoble, definitely has some huge potential. But uh, let me know in the comments. I hope you all enjoy. 
And uh, if you didn't watch my previous video, please play the One Piece TCG. That uh, that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Yu-Gi-Oh! game. That One Piece game is absolutely fun and amazing, and it's never been a better time to play it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't do anything stupid. I'll see you all next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>